hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Wright is here, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for tuning into my latest video. Had a patient attended with bilateral occluding earwax, we're just starting off in the left ear. We're near the entrance, so we're quite lateral, and we know that because of all the hair strands. So the hair follicles in the ear are located and situated on the outer third, the cartilaginous portion, that's where the hair follicles are. The inner two thirds of the ear canal, uh, it's bone bearing, just a very thin layer of skin, less than 0.1 millimeters in thickness, and there's no hair follicles there. The wax is quite stodgy, glutinous, um, and what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to just elevate it, lift it off the posterior inferior canal wall. So posterior means the back part of the ear canal, inferior means the bottom. And this is where we get a prominent, this is where the first bend is of the ear canal. There's two bends. The first one is about half a, a centimetre into the ear canal and the second bend is around a centimetre into the ear canal. And you quite often find if you start off the procedure by just loosening the plug of wax from the posterior inferior canal wall, uh, it just makes removing the rest of the plug of wax a lot easier. Um, so just trying to get a suction grip here because it's a bit stodgy and mushy, sometimes it's a bit difficult. Um, but slowly but surely you can see what I'm doing here, the, the posterior part of the plug of wax where there's a bit of keratin just lining it, you can see the glossy appearance, that's just dead skin that's enveloped, engulfed itself around the plug of wax and slowly just bringing that forwards. Um, and that is also bringing the rest of the plug of wax out. So just a segment of wax is teared off, back in with the zona suction probe. So this procedure with a suction tip uh, is called micro suction. And if this is one of the first times you've been watching my videos. You can see I'm just gently tugging this wax, lifting it up and down, uh, the tube got black blocked. I was just considering, I believe at this stage, to put some drops in, some olive oil drops, just to lubricate the plug of wax and stop it from sticking to the suction probe, but uh, eventually it just came out in one single big mass, just re-entering the ear. So a lovely healthy tympanic membrane, eardrums, a few loose hair strands there, that's fine, it's not going to cause any problems. Just moved over to the right ear. Again, we're quite lateral near the entrance. This wax is quite stodgy. That's quite mushy. And once more, I'm just trying to lift the wax off the canal wall. So quite often, ear waxes adhere to the ear canal walls. By loosening and breaking these adhesions, it mobilizes the plug of wax and then enables you to remove it from the ear. And this is why an endoscopic approach is so good because it gives us a parallel, uh, a panoramic view of the entire ear canal and we can quite easily see where the wax is attached to the canal wall, whether it be the posterior canal wall, so the back part of the ear canal or the anterior canal wall, the front part of the ear canal or the superior canal wall, the roof of the ear canal or the inferior canal wall, the base of the ear canal. Because the wax is quite stodgy, um, I'm just using an ear hook, quite, sometimes the, the surface of the wax can be quite stodgy but the core is a bit firmer so I decided to use an ear hook initially but Actually, the core of this wax was also quite wet and mushy, so I've replaced the ear hook with a Jobson horn. I'm just gliding it gently at the roof of the ear canal and slowly scooping this stuff, uh, soft, stodgy type of wax out. Again, just near the entrance there. Now, the rest of the plug of wax is a bit more medial, so I reverted back to suction, and I think I'm going to use um, some olive oil drops in a moment just to lubricate it. So, when wax is a bit more medial on the bony part, you, wherever possible, try and avoid using ear hooks or jobs and horns because if you come in contact with the bony part of the ear canal, it can be a bit sensitive for the patient. We, we're not using any local anesthesia here, Lydie K. Um, so, for me, it's so important to make sure the patient's as comfortable as possible. Um, and again, so you can see this keratin, this, this dead skin that's enveloped, engulfed itself around the plug of wax. I think I just put some olive oil drops in. I didn't put too much, I just put enough just to lubricate the base of the ear canal to loosen this keratin. Back in with the zona suction probe, gently wriggling this plug of wax. And it is quite medium, it's, it's a lot larger than I thought it would be. Slowly gliding it forward, you can see the oil there. There's another plug, so that plug, as I reach the entrance of the ear canal, it sliced in half. There's still a bit more, guys, <laughs> so it was a huge plug in the end. 
sometimes you can be just amazed by how much wax you can remove from one's ear. You, you think you've removed it, you go back in and it's the more there. There's the patient's ear canal. There's the eardrum, healthy but it's slightly retracted. Uh, you can see the corda tympani there. Um, uh, there's all the remnants of the patient's ear. You can see some of the plugs of wax are darker than the others. The darker plugs of wax are the ones that have been in the ear for longer. So uh, it's oxidized, a bit like an apple and an avocado as you cut through it. If it's exposed to the oxygen, it just turns into a darker brown, almost blackish color. I weighed all the wax and it's quite a fair way in there, uh, over half a gram, so 616 milligrams, so 0.6 of a gram. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that video guys. I know it's a bit of a short one, but um, I have got a few long ones, but just haven't had time to upload. But generally speaking, a lot of my videos, I know I've seen a few comments, uh, just getting more efficient than what I do, so some of the videos are shorter. Um, not much I can do, unfortunately. I can only remove what's given to me. Um, but yeah, over the years, obviously with experience, it's become quicker. Uh, I've got little tricks that I've developed. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Take care, have a great evening. Bye.